Working for WWE is a dream for many pro wrestlers, but as we've witnessed over the years, not everyone is happy when they get to work for their dream corporation. WWE has always focused on using a limited number of superstars, which leads to underutilization of talent or being involved in storylines they're not satisfied with. This leads to a lot of superstars asking for their release from the company. However, not all of those requests are granted, and even if they are, it requires a lot of struggle. Now, let's take a look at 8 superstars who WWE refused to let go. Number 8, Andre Del Idolo. AEW's Andre Del Idolo made his debut for WWE at NXT TakeOver. The end in a winning effort against Ty Dillinger in 2016. Two years later, Andrade, managed by Zelina Vega, was called up to the main roster, where he captured the United States Championship. He put on some great matches on the main roster, but as the years passed by, WWE ran out of plans for El Idolo. During the fall of 2020, WWE decided to split Andrade and Vega, which led to nothing for the former United States Champion. Vega was released by WWE soon after that, while Andrade spent his time in catering. In March 2021, Andrade requested his release from WWE, as he felt misused there. However, WWE denied his release request. It looked like WWE was going to make him sit at home until his contract expired, but for some reason, they changed their mind and granted Andrade his release at the end of March. Andrade made his AEW debut in the summer of the same year, and is now a part of the Andrade Hardy family office in the company. Number 7, Brody Lee. The late Brody Lee who was known as Luke Harper during his time in WWE, was also one of the superstars who requested his release from the company after working for them for seven years. The Exalted One was frustrated due to the lack of his use by the company after he had recovered from a torn bicep injury. In April 2019, he took to Twitter to inform everyone of his decision, stating, As of this evening, I have requested a release from WWE. The past six years have been a simply amazing journey around the world and back with lifelong friends and family. I am proud of it all and proud to say I shared the ring with my co-workers. This decision, as difficult as it was, feels right for myself and WWE. My goal in the future is to continue to grow as a performer and person and continue to make my family proud. WWE did not grant him his release and added more time to his contract to make up for the time he was out of action with a torn bicep. During this time, he was nowhere to be seen on WWE programming. He made a surprise return at Clash of Champions 2019 to reunite with Eric Rowan to start a short feud with Roman Reigns and Daniel Bryan. Lee was taken off television again soon after that and was finally released in December that year, eight months after asking for his release. Number 6, Pac, AEW star Pac, known as Neville in WWE, also had to struggle a lot to be released from WWE. During the October 9th episode of Raw, Pac walked out from the show and did not compete in a match which he was booked to lose. The former King of Cruiserweights asked WWE to release him due to contract disputes in October 2017, but didn't get the result he wanted until August 2018. Pac was unhappy with how the company booked him and revealed in many interviews that they ran out of ideas for him. Moreover, he wasn't pleased with Enzo defeating him for the Cruiserweight Championship, stating that it was a bad decision and he was worth more than being jobbed out to jobbers. WWE froze his contract and did not want to grant him his release, as they thought granting it would set a precedent for wrestlers walking out on the company for other promotions. They finally decided to grant his release request in August 2018, though, less than a year later, Pac became one of the first signees of AEW. He became a part of the Death Triangle stable with former AEW World Tag Team Champions, Penta and Ray Fenix. Number 5, FTR. One of AEW's top tag teams, FTR, had a two-year run on the WWE main roster before their decision to quit. The top guys had amazing matches with many tag teams in NXT, but they felt like tag team wrestling wasn't given the same importance on Raw and SmackDown. In January 2019, Cash Wheeler and Dax Harwood expressed their unhappiness to WWE and asked for their release, which was denied. WWE offered them new deals in the months following that, but both of them had made up their minds. Harwood and Wheeler stated that tag team wrestling was given importance everywhere except WWE, and they wanted something else alongside their NXT run to add to their legacy. In January 2020, they asked for their release again, but it wasn't granted. WWE became very open to releasing talent when the COVID-19 pandemic hit the world, so they finally released Harwood and Wheeler in April 2020. A couple of months after their release, the former tag team champions signed with AEW and are now a part of the pinnacle with MJF and Sean Spears. Number 4, Nero. Nero, known as Rusev during his time in WWE, was booked very strongly when he arrived on the main roster in 2014. 
He was undefeated for a year, but things started to go downhill for him once he lost the United States Championship to John Cena at WrestleMania 31 the following year. WWE experimented with a lot of things on him, like putting him in a stable called League of Nations, pairing him up with Summer Rae in a romantic angle against his wife, Lana, and Dolph Ziggler. Miro could never look as good again as he did during his early days, and he finally decided to ask WWE for his release when they put him in another romantic angle involving current WWE champion Bobby Lashley and his wife Lana. WWE had Lana divorce Miro to marry Lashley in the storyline, and also added Liv Morgan to the mix as Lana's lover. Initially, WWE did not grant Miro his release. However, he got his release later when the company decided to make budget cuts due to the COVID-19 pandemic by releasing a large amount of talent. Miro signed with AEW in the fall of 2020, and went on to become a TNT champion there. Number 3. Mike Kanellis Mike Bennett, known as Mike Kanellis during his time in WWE, made his WWE debut in the summer of 2016. The company never knew where to use him, which made Mike frustrated and led to him asking for his release in October 2019, just three months after he and his wife, Maria, signed a five-year deal with them. Mike took to social media and wrote the following about it, Today I asked for my release from WWE. I want to thank everyone in the company who has helped me out and who I have shared a locker room with. I love you all. I've been with the company for almost three years and I am incredibly grateful for the opportunity. However, it is time for me to move on. I am only 34 years old and feel I have way too much left in the tank. Working one day a week is just not going to cut it for me. I came to WWE to work and that opportunity does not exist right now. However, WWE did not grant Mike's request for his release for the next couple of months. He made some TV appearances during that time in which he was mostly seen losing matches he competed in. In April 2020, WWE released Mike and Maria both, as they decided to make budget cuts due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Number 2. Mustafa Ali Mustafa Ali joined WWE during the Cruiserweight Classic and became the heart of 205 Live. He had his breakout moment in 2018 when he debuted on SmackDown to confront then WWE Champion Daniel Bryan. Ali was reportedly set to win the Elimination Chamber match the following year to go on to battle Bryan for the WWE Championship at WrestleMania 35. Unfortunately for Ali, he got injured and was replaced by Kofi Kingston. He then almost became Mr. Money in the Bank that year, but a surprise appearance from Brock Lesnar crushed his dream of achieving that feat. After all that, Ali could never gain back his momentum and was stuck in the mid-card. WWE also failed to book him properly as the mystery hacker on SmackDown and the leader of Retribution. After spending a few months as Mansoor's tag team partner, Ollie took to Twitter to request his release from the company this year. He wrote, I have a message that is much bigger than my dreams in pro wrestling. Despite my best efforts, I will not be able to deliver this message while working with WWE. Therefore, I am requesting my release from WWE. Ollie's decision came after Vince McMahon reportedly pitched a storyline that he'd never do. However, WWE has decided not to release him yet, so he will have to wait longer. Number 1. Sasha Banks Sasha Banks was one of the biggest names to ask for her release one point. Banks and her best friend, Bayley, became the first ever WWE Women's Tag Team Champions at Elimination Chamber 2019, but they lost the titles just two months later to the Iconics at WrestleMania 35. This made Banks frustrated, and she reportedly requested her release from after the show. However, WWE Chairman Vince McMahon denied it and told her to take some time off instead. The boss returned to WWE programming in the summer of 2019 and has arguably had her best run since then. She won the SmackDown Women's Championship and went on to drop it to Bianca Belair in the historic main event of Night 1 of WrestleMania 37. Looking back at Vince McMahon's decision to deny her release request, the boss stated that it was a great decision, which resulted in a lot of great things for both sides. She said that he's kind, intelligent and gentle, and knew exactly that what she needed was time. This was indeed one of the rare times a superstar's request to be released by WWE being denied led to better things for the star and the company.